Welcome. Let's take a look at Newton's method. Newton's method is great, except when it isn't great. So there are some limitations. One limitation is when at one approximation, let's say xn, the derivative is zero. If the derivative is zero, then we have a horizontal tangent line. And that tangent line can no longer intersect the x-axis which means we no longer have a next iterate or a next approximation to the root of the function. And therefore, the process cannot continue. A second limitation occurs when a function has more than one root. We can see on the graph here that this function has a root at a, and it also has a root at b. And if we were searching for this root a, and we started with this initial approximation, let's call that x0, if we started uh, with x0 and we were looking for a, Notice that when we look for the x-intercept of the tangent line, or when we apply Newton's method, we'll end up way over here to the right of 4. And then as that iterative process continues, notice that this process is going to end up finding the root at b rather than the root at a. Now, this most frequently occurs when our initial approximation is not close enough to a. So in this case, uh, choosing x not to be, say, 1 might produce better results. Might not. 1 might not even be close enough. Maybe 1.25 might have to be close enough. But be aware that this can happen if your initial approximation is not close enough to the root that you are searching for. And lastly, in some cases, uh, the approximations may not approach a root at all. Um, successive approximations may continue to alternate back and forth between two values. So in this diagram, if we start with an initial approximation of x0 and we find the x-intercept or the root of the tangent line, we'll end up over here almost to 3 and we'll find x1. And then if we find the tangent line for x1, notice that we're coming back to our initial uh, approximation, so x2 would be the same as x1, and then if we use x2 and create the tangent line and follow that to its root, uh, we'll see that x3 is the same as x2, and so forth. So you get this cycling between the two values. Um, this can be fixed by finding um, or making your first approximation uh, appropriately close to what the actual value of the root is. I hope you find this helpful.